thing, okay? I don't know that one. Oh, it works! It's working today! <gasps> it's working today! Yay! Finally! Finally, it's not been working. You need download it? I didn't read download it, actually. I just haven't used um. it in the past, like, because it hasn't been working. And then, all of a sudden, they cut me off on stream. <laughs> like, wait a second, is it working today? And it works. Spring down. <laughs> the music of the music of storm. The music of storm. That's yeah, but that's because there's no copyright music in this game, so I I'm putting my own music in. <laughs> I hope it's not too loud. Let me double check. Let me do it on my end real quick. There we go. Okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, how is everybody today? Okay, like everything is copyright now. Yeah, um, no, literally. I can't play any music on Fortnite without getting a copyright strike or something. Like, not like legit strikes, but like the warning of, yeah, no, it has. It really has. I was like, I can't play any songs on Fortnite, like literally, without uh, YouTube going, um, no, you can't play this song. Oh, you can't play this song either. Oh, this song? No. No. Mm, sorry. Yeah, sorry, but no. Yeah, sorry, but no. I, I'll have to probably bring back my old BGMs and get a couple more commissioned later for video games. Such as these for games like this, because literally, there's no, there's no, like, there's no volume on here because it's all copyright. <laughs> Some people even say YouTube free music gets strikes sometimes. Really? How? Like, bro, that's so stupid. I did um I do know some of my league stuff. I'm I'm probably gonna make a special playlist with just like stuff that I'm double checking on like YouTube to make sure YouTube doesn't, you know, give me like warnings and stuff like that. I'm probably just gonna make a special playlist. Saria said she'd give me her music, so I might throw that in there too. So that way I just have music running in the background for things like art streams and stuff because I do want to bring back art streams again. It was really fun the last time I did an art stream. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna play Life is Strange True Colors today. Everyone knows that Life is Strange was one of the first few games that I played. Everyone that's like from, well, not everybody, but everyone that was here from the beginning. <laughs> Hi, Iris. <laughs> But yeah, everyone that was here from the beginning knows that I played Life is Strange way in the beginning. I I did take down a lot of those videos, I think, because that was back when I was a flesh tuber. But yeah. So I do really want to go back and replay all the games. Oh, you played it in the Wii? This game is on the Wii! What? Life is Strange Wii. It was in the Wii? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm curious. I actually did not know it was on the Wii. Um, doesn't tell me what systems it was on. What systems? I know it was PS... PlayStation. I know it was PlayStation, for sure. I think it was Xbox. Hello? Um, <laughs> I know! Christ. I was a flesh tuber! I know! That's so okay. gross. So gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's gross. <laughs> oh, let me put these people back. Go for 
just gonna move them over here since we're gonna use this one today, this file today. Just for today, we'll use. It. We're gonna use this one like the old days. We're gonna use it like it's a TV, cause you know it's like a screen and it's great. <laughs> This is how I used to play my games, and we, we haven't done that in a minute. I usually play video games with the, everything on the big screen, but this time I think I might go with like little screen, cause, I don't know, it feels kind of nostalgic. Life is Strange is really nostalgic for me. I really don't get the story of Life is Strange. I think she's looking for someone and weird stuff happens. Yeah, so, okay. this. There's three different games. All of them have different things that happen in them, but essentially the idea is one day they wake up and they have powers. And the story follows them. Which is really, really interesting. Yeah, they all wake up one day and they have powers. That is the premise of every single story that I've played with Life is Strange thus far. And I think it's really fun game. I really love it. Usually the story writing is really great. Everyone was really positive about this game. I just didn't want to pay a $60 game. It was on sale for like 20 so I bought it. Because I thought, why not? I really want to play it. I don't want to spend like 70 bucks on this game. Because <laughs> literally it's 70 bucks. Go check. It's, it's literally 70 <laughs> For both. For the ending story and then this story, yeah, it's seventy dollars. <laughs> Holmes, the fuck? Hi, Logan. Is Logan? Hi, Logan. Hey. Oh, we're not playing Fortnite today. <laughs> What's this Fortnite claim? We are definitely not playing Fortnite. Let me meet a uh, timer. Come here. Uh, Fortnite disabled. Hey, Jane. Hydrate, thank you for the hydrate. Let me sip and sip. Ah! Why you bonk me? Oh. What? Uh, this game. $70 for Life is Strange. Why are you throwing things at me? Uh, s yeah, this game is $70 with the epilogue. If you go without the epilogue, it's a $60 game. With the, with the Square Enix sale that's going on right now, it's $20 for both parts. <laughs> Which is crazy to me. I am not looking forward to that movie. I don't know why. I don't care for Margot Robbie's acting. I don't know. I just... She's okay. She's mid to me. She's mid. She's okay. I thought she was a decent Harley Quinn. I don't understand what the big hype around her is. But that's just me. <laughs> you heard nothing, not! Wait, am I frozen? No, I'm not frozen. I wonder what the story will be about, because I know The Sims story is just getting promoted and work and living in different houses. So, The Sims actually has a story. Um, I love Sims. <laughs> we can go- I can make a whole video about this later. <laughs> but, um, The Sims actually has lore. There's a whole murder mystery going on in the background. Um, for the past several games, literally they mur- Two girls murdered, um, oh shit. They murdered Bella Goth, I think. To get a hold of her money and she's gone missing since uh sims 3 and then they brought her back in sims 4 because sims 4 is an alternate universe i love old animated harley quinn i love her so much the voice actress for old harley quinn is fucking amazing yeah they all have stories 
Um, I did hear something about the a rumor saying that there's not going to be an ending to the movie. I don't know. I, I'm scared for the Sims movie. I don't want there to be a Sims movie. I'm scared for that. I love Sims, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, not for me. I'll probably still go watch it, though, because I want to see if my fears are confirmed or if I was just all speculating everything that goes wrong in that film. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably still love it. I love Sims 1. Sims 1 was so classic and very hard to take care of the babies. And, I don't know, it was just crazy. Sims 4, I really do love Sims 4. I think Sims 4 is great. I just wish that... Just like every other expansion pack. It, I wish it didn't cost so much money. I wish that they would give us the expansion pack. And then update it if they're missing stuff. I wish that they wouldn't put these extra things that we need to quote unquote fix the game. In stuff packs or... um, Trying to find words. Uh, there's expansion pack, stuff packs... Um, something else. There's one other word. Oh shit! I have to look it up. My brain is not working right now. Sims for stuff packs, expansion packs, and then there's like a weird like in the middle. There's. It's not an expansion pack, it's something. Game packs. They're called game packs. That's what they're called. Game packs. You remember there's a haunted house in Sims busting out? There's a, um, yeah, they just created, um, I think like three packs ago. They created a, a whole, like, paranormal thing where, like, there's ghosts and um, you go ghost hunting and these little ghosts you can like adopt as like pets or something like that. I didn't get the expansion because I didn't have money at the time. <laughs> but usually if I come across some money I will throw it at Sims because Sims is addicting. It's my cocaine. <laughs> That's why I haven't streamed it because I will literally not eat or drink or sleep. I will literally play that game. That game is crack to me. I love that game. I could shoot. I literally woke up in the middle of the night after sleeping in cover still playing food. Listen. Listen. I love hey, The Sims. The Sims is great. I fucking love The Sims. I swear they can't play the lot. I do. Really. Anyway, this is the fall sleep. What? I do miss The Sims though. I I should bring that back. That's another game I should probably play again because I do want to continue working on 100 Baby Sim Challenge. <laughs> when you look stop, you look stop playing because you didn't get your SSD in the computer. You know? Oh, that's right. I think that's why I stopped playing because I you keep I, running out of space. Yeah, that's why I had to stop playing it. Oh, I'll get. We'll get around to that. When Keela comes, I'll be able to put in my computer. I'll take in my computer when Keela comes for the summer. So you're not bored out of your mind while they're having it. Yeah, I literally, I don't want to take it. I don't want to take a week off from streaming just to wait on an SSD. I'm pretty sure they could get it back to me in like a day, but I don't really want to go streaming without a day. I'd rather have a reason why I'm not streaming that day. You know, a, li a literal reason, a good reason. Okay. Hello, Kevin. How are you? But yeah, I do love The Sims. Sims is literally my favorite game in the whole wide world, and. Nothing can stop me otherwise from saying otherwise, because I love the Sims. Life is strange indeed. Yeah, life is strange. We're playing Life is Strange. Um, This is the third installment of the game. And we're gonna play it. It's... I got the DLC, um... Uh, it's the Deluxe, up, deluxe up, Upgrade. 
Um, it comes with the epilogue story, so we're gonna play that. I'm gonna play like the whole game and see how where we go, cause never actually. But there might not be music. I heard that this game revolves <laughs> around music, but you know the awkward thing is copyright. <laughs> so I'm sorry for there being no music. But yeah, let's get started, I guess. True colors. Life is strange. True colors. Well, we still have the classic little turntable, like... They have a turntable here. Life is strange. True colors mm -hmm. is a story-based game that features player choice. So, Alex. The day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. Yo, we're it gonna says here he lives brother. in Haven Springs, Colorado. <gasps> I know where that is. Is that correct? I actually know where that is. That's a big move. My family over Do you family. have any plans as far as school or a job? Oh, I think that's gonna echo. For My me. brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people. Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? What kind of issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. Do you? With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Therapists don't care sometimes. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Wait, so is this like, was that like the ending? Like she was getting help and she's gonna go live with her brother? Or did something else happen? Also, am I streaming to you, Camilla? I don't think I am. No, I'm not saying I can't. Okay, there we go. What happened in the first game? Um, the first game is not connected to this game, but in the first game, you were playing as a girl named Max, and she ends up having t reversal time travel powers. Like she could turn back time. I am lagging. Chapter one, side A. Oh, it's like a cassette tape. Side A, side B. That's cool. I liked, I, I do want to go back and play all the games again, but I thought I would play them first. So are we in Colorado now? She was looking for her missing dad, I think, or for someone. She was looking for her- Gabe her... said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. She was looking for her best friend, um, Chloe, and Chloe's best friend, uh, Alex? Question mark? Don't remember her name. I see a person right there. Let's go say hi. Please don't trip. Oh my god, I can't walk over there. We're gonna go around. Oh my god, I can't walk in here. Why can I not? There's a dude right there. Let me talk to him. Game, please. Okay, what if I walk around this way? Oh my god, this tree. It, they cucked me from being able to talk to him. Wait, wait, wait. I know. We'll walk around the long way. Oh my god, there's so many fucking invisible walls. Please. I just wanna talk to the dude. Don't jump in the river. I'm gonna jump in the river. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's walk her around. And then if we walk into the guy's property... Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god. He's right there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's him. Ugh. Story. Time to meet Gabe. He's right there. There's a dude right there. That has to be Gabe. Tego, you've been noticed! Hi, Tego. 
Oh, there's another dude right there. Maybe it's just a normal, normal person. Can I run? There's no way to run this way. No, we're just walking. Passing by to say good night. Good night, Tiggle. The bag looks like a sleeping bag. Kind of does, but those are travel bags. They usually carry a lot of like personal luggage in them. They're not like big suitcases. They're just to carry like necessities. Oh, there's a snag in the water. Are those snags? What the fuck are those? I don't have antlers. I thought they were deer, but they don't have antlers, so I don't know. They look like a sheep deer hybrid, literally. Hey, the dude that was sitting down there is gone, by the way. Oh, an Oriole! I love those birds. Yo, I don't think your brother's coming. It's getting late. Well, this game looks better than I remember. Oh, there's an actual stack over there now. We see it. Especially? What? Mm -hmm. The game's really pretty. Wait, is this just for playing cutscene? Alex! Oh, oh, shit. That scared me. Holy shit. That's really <laughs> him. I was like, wait, are we just, are we supposed to back out? Did I accidentally enter in like the scene that... What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Hug. Always hug. I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Okay. Believe so it. It's all grown up. Oh, she can read minds. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. She can read minds. Are you ready to see the town? So, okay. The fact that she's living with her brother now instead of like her family tells me that she prefers her brother over anyone else. So. To me, that means that's why I chose the hug, because she's obviously like more attached to him. The fact that she chose him over like any potential family that she might have, which is interesting to me. And the fact that he was willing to like take care of her as the adult also means that he really cares about her. I guess the story of life is is strange. Is like Bunny Girl Senpai the anime? Hmm. Let's do it. Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, <laughs> it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. 
she's a hugger. We are it's so okay. glad to have you, Alex. It's okay. she's a Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. Okay, these things happen. Sometimes she seems nice. Exactly. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. She's a hugger. It's okay. These things happen. Welcome to Haven. Some people are cool with hugs. Some people will just hug you because it's how they... It's their, their form of expressing hello. These things happen. It's okay. No, I'm not familiar with that anime. But yeah, everyone's so friendly. The Silver Dragon. Ooh, I want to go there. Oh, it's a weed place. Never mind. I don't want to go there. I'm allergic to that. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'll probably die, unfortunately. It's nice. I'll break out and to hives and stuff. Leaf, leafy flowers. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Blasting notice? Hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's a blast Hydrate, thank you for the hydrate. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? Be honest, be clever. Well, is being clever, there's a way to be clever and honest. You know, like, you could be like, clever with your wording, but still talk in ways of being truthful, like, like use big words. Bigger words that make you seem cooler than everybody else. Everyone, people in this town are weird. What do you mean? I have to be honest, though. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Yeah. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I've read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What did you do? <laughs> what uh, exactly are you apologizing for? Yeah, that. This time around, maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> what did you do with the toilet seat? I would say Lily of the Valley because it's kind of, it seems cuter. And you don't really see people getting people Lily of the Valleys. I don't know. That seems more romantic. What do you think, Keela? Hmm. I mean, I've never heard of anyone giving some flowers before, I'll be honest with you, so. That would be kind of romantic, that would not be then. I don't know. I like sunflowers too, but I've never heard of anyone giving Lily of the Valleys either. Well, a whole batch of sunflowers? I've never. Really seen that either? I don't know. Well, if it's a toilet seat. Ooh, a toilet seat? Is that broken? I would assume so. I think he fucked up the toilet seat. Sunflowers look prettier, yeah. I would say sunflowers. I'm gonna go sunflowers. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. Okay, it's a whole batch of sunflowers! <laughs> you know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often... Well, he wouldn't be Mac. Maybe you should break Is up it still Mac. on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. Don't read people's minds. We can leave minds. when you're ready. Sounds good. Girls, stay out of their heads. Might as well have a look around before we leave. 
statue that oh it's a fairy mandatory for any enchanted garden that's cute oh i missed i miss playing life is strange games they always have such an authentic does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair they're the only games that can actually do this hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life i'm sure it's fine no you're fine are these her Aww. grandparents I wonder who they are. That's cute. Those are definitely her grandparents, if not the store owners. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. See, I was kind of right. Let me get the valley. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Same. <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. <laughs> that's funny because okay so the tiny house movement is to help homeless people move into like actual houses because they don't have any place to live right and um like in japan tiny houses and tiny apartments are really really popular because it's more or less you can live with your necessities rather than your wants and it stops you from like hoarding and things like that. It's really helpful and kind of meditative Haven's in a weird way. And only oh, that radio station. scared me. I don't know why I jumped a little bit. This gnome has been places. Are you sure he's been places? He's got sunglasses, though. Me, the gnome's mine. I see homeless people just live on the internet cafes. Yeah, some of them do. Perfect. Yeah, he's going places. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Gnome Bell Peace Prize. Oh God, please stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Lol. Okay, these two are adorable together. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Okay, so their parents died, or she was taken away at a younger age because her parents were abusive. One of the two. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. Unlocking the Flavors of the Earth, a Gardener's Guide by Mabel Richardson. Oh. Perfect Flower Bed by Susan K. Knight. Making the Magic Garden Real, written by Sarah Quinn. There's a guy into gardening. Maybe... Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? We should sit in it. We should have an option to sit there. It's a bathroom. Employees only bathrooms, actually. But yeah, it probably would have been in the bathrooms for sure. What to say? There's two doors, so it's probably not the bathroom. Whatever it is. It's probably for employees, though. I'm gonna pay like 30 bucks for your bouquet of sunflowers. Hell yeah. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. <laughs> Thumbs up. Why did her brother take her to a flower shop and not their home? He had to pick up apology flowers for destroying the toilet. <laughs> How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Oh, God. About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Yeah. See, I would like flowers. Watch your feet now. It's getting it's windy. Morning. My feet are fine. See, I would like flowers. Morning. Well, here we are. Morning. Sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas within blast radius. Do not enter blast area. Typhoon mining. Oh, blasting. 
April, wait, April, 2019, this, so this was two years ago, not two years ago, sorry, my brain is thinking of things, there's a spring break here, I wanted to look at that. Five years ago? Yeah, five years These ago. are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wait, really? Wow. You should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Wait, these are all done by him? Holy shit. That's crazy. Wait, he's not lying, right? Holy shit. He's got talent then. Bro. I like that case. He really should have started a business. So it looks like they're doing a festival though, because look at the lanterns. They're putting little wreaths on every lantern. This is so cute. Wait, are they taking Next them stop on the tour, delivering flowers. No, they're these are brand new, right? Oh god, are we going into the weed shop? Goat yoga ad, what? Wow. Just wow. Goat yoga classes sent to your mo mo body. Free your mind and do it all with tiny little goat feet on your back. Join us for a relaxing yoga session on our farm. Namaste. Drop in or call Stacy at 970-555-4839. Bergamot, Colorado. Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. <laughs> Yo, that's based. Wait, this newspaper again. What did you think of the show? I loved it. Every time I see Molly in the top, I think they get even better. Awesome. I'm so glad you liked it. I think it was even better than their set in LA. You saw that video, right? Yeah. That one was so good. But live what are they talking is a about? whole other thing, you know? Totally. What you Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Wondering if you wanted to grab dinner tomorrow, maybe? Yo. Oh, so I'll text Katie and Mark and see if they're down. Yeah, totally. But would you want to maybe go just the two of us? Oh. Like, like a date. This guy got no riz. Yeah. Can I think about it? Bro. Yeah. This is not going well. This Just is dying. Let, let me know. That's sad. Should I mention the bees? <laughs> <laughs> this guy had zero riz. He was like, oh, you want to go out for dinner? Yeah, I'll tell my friends. We can all go together. Yeah, no, I was Next stop the on the tour, us. delivering flowers. He got so awkward when he was saying that. I'm sorry, but anyone that's asking anyone out on a date, that's awkward. Don't do that. Just be like, hey, I want to take you out to dinner tomorrow. Meet you at your favorite restaurant. Let's go. Get that riz going. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. You know what? Good for him, though. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> it's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Who the fuck oh. are you? Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. Oh. I'm Alex. He's in the MILFs? What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Vanishing, my kind of power. I prefer the Fire Ring. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. Literally. 
If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. Absolutely. Show me I'd it. I'd love to see it. Let's see your work. I love seeing kids' art. Oh, that's you can so keep cute. it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. That's awesome. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. That's a base dude. Little dude. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. Wait. What I day mean, is it? I'm not Can an I'm expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. Wait, what day is it? I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man. I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. There's a blast. They're gonna blast the mountain. I think soon. I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. No, voice acting cannot have copyright. Music does, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to play video games. <laughs> but yeah, this game is definitely based on music, because the record. I see the record symbol. Yeah, it's a shame. It is a shame. I'm really sad about that. Oh, wow. Oh wow, this really feels like a thrift store vibe. I love it. Don't put your bag down. And your bag might go missing, bro. You can't trust small towns. This place either. reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. I hope they're cheap. No way. No music. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> Wait, is that a road? Wait, she's using a road? That's the same fucking mount I have. Oh, uh... Unicorn. I like the unicorn. Zombie parade unicorn sandwich. Unicorn. Unicorn. Absolutely. I really wish I could hear the music. I'm so sad. I'm pretty sure that's a road. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. <laughs> some chick. Some chick. Uh-oh, the music coming in. Here we come in. Hmm? No, I have streamer friendly on. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. Aww. I'm Ryan. Did I look around for records? Hi, Ryan. Since nice you know to meet who you. the fuck I am? So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Uh, cool so far. I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's our cultural landmark for sure. Lol. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Mm -hmm. Hi, Stable. 
Queen Stella. No, you're a squib. Different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. Oh, he's a State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Yo, I need to well, rat you out. Bummer, the store's closed. I need to rat out this kid. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte Listen. just got him a record player for his birthday. Stop manipulating the dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. I'm not stinky. You're stinky. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Am I allowed to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any ideas on where to start? Hold lists are usually in the employee No rooms. idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Oh, hold case. <laughs> <laughs> How do you miss this? It's right there, bro. What? Bro. Please turn and look. It's right here. How did you miss this? How did you miss this? It's gotta not be in there, right? I wanna look at other things. I'm, I'm, I wanna look at other things. I'm gonna pretend I don't know where the fuck it is. I don't wanna believe it's that easy. I really don't. I really hope. Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. Mining player? You're not the boss of me, poster. Call your councilman. Tell them to vote no on local ballot measure 39. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. Keep our mountains standing tall. Haven Springs, current mining site, proposed future mining sites, private mining interests, okay. So they want to blow it up. That's sad. They want to blow up the mountain. Standing on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck, creepy crawlies. That's the stuff of nightmares. Live karaoke and half off on drinks, first Tuesday of the month. That sounds fun. Listen to nothing. That was some nice ASMR, though. Hey, yo. <laughs> wow, I like this music. So. <laughs> Here, we'll just blast my theme song. This is my theme song. This is Haven Spring. <laughs> Down so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry. With its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. It's <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. A ring wear. Bulletin board. How very small town. Red Rock Summer Concerts are KRCT summer giveaways. Don't miss out. Family portraits and other commissioned art. Charlotte Harmon, 303-555-8043. Time for spring cleaning. Make sure to give your gutters some love too. Call Gunther Gutters Gutters today. Staff picks. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Delightful. That's cute. I would want to 
want to listen to okay. that. Okay. Uh, seriously obscure indie pattern. That's cute. Color me impressed. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. I would listen to that one. There's a king. Knuckle. Wait. Is that the hold list? Can I move you? Don't freak out. I'm just gonna. Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. I love that this town has their own radio station. She's so cute. Look at her go. I think her name is Steph. I think it's short for Stephanie. Stephanie, but her nickname is Steph. But yeah, she's kind of cute. The art didn't really look that good, but in game, she's kind of cute. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Drum kit. Stuff's touch and die. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Touch it, touch it, touch it. Are you trying to die? Absolutely. I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. It's been so long since I've played. Oh, she plays the guitar. Interesting. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Hi, hey, Radish. Perpetual Hello. motion. Looks exhausting. Hi, clarinet. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Made in Poland in the 1930s, this clarinet belonged to Igor Sobiski, a renowned cl clarinetist and a survivor of World War II. Igor and his family moved to New York in 1947, where he founded the Sobi Music, an importer of fine instruments from all over the world. Igor eventually retired to Haven Springs, like Haven, Haven Academy, from from the first game. Where his generous donations still fund the KRCT, Haven's own independent radio station. We're in Haven? Oh god, we can't get out. I'm trapped in this fucking place! <laughs> you know, like finding a clarinet nowadays? Most people won't even play the clarinet anymore. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. I wanted to learn the clarinet. I always thought clarinets were really pretty. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Okay. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Acapella Screamo, Banjo Dubstep, Acapella Screamo. I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God. <laughs> he said, dear well, God. <laughs> there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. He said, dear God, hope not. Bro, that's mean. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Stickers. Damn. Maybe that drawer? The one that would lock? It could be 
Celine Dion's greatest hits. That's pretty you mean sad. The essential Celine Dion. She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. Cash register. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> mm. Alas. No Are they toy. still flirting? Wait, there's a junk box. Maybe in the junk box? Yes, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's right there. That's definitely it. Huh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Wait, the cat likes squeaky toys? It's not a dog, you know. Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Wait, there's a chore calendar. I'm kind of curious what that says. Ooh, there's a guitar. Hang on, hang on. I want to see. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, That's Alex. <laughs> On the March 31st, pull up a sweet prank on Diane. On April 5th, mop. On April 8th, stock new arrivals. On April 10th, bulletin board. Um, 412, mop. 417, alliance order due. 419, mop. 420, spring festival decorations. And 426, mop. What server for DFO, Kilo? Um, what server are we on, Kilo? How do I start? Emergency screen? guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Mm. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Why didn't you read the book in high school if you did a book report on her? What? Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. See, okay, I, I have a bone to pick with. People who read the book, or people that don't read the book, and then just write a report on it. Like, where the fuck did you get this information from? You, you clearly didn't read the book, so did you get it from the inter internet? Did you cheat? Because there's no way you knew what the fuck happened in the book if you didn't read it. And how could you write a book report on somebody that you don't know, like, anything about their stories? Because reading someone's book is like looking into a window of their soul. I, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm such a bookworm. I love books. <laughs> I love books. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? Not you, clearly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Gabe wants tiny blue bots. Um, he's supposed to pick it up on the 18th. Um, Steph is waiting for something called Narrow Panthers. Or Pathers. Narrow Pathers. Um, that's on 413. Cass Groves, Groves, Groves. Wild Air. They're supposed to pick it up on 412. Wow, they really want a lot of uh stuff. But wait, if it looks like Gabe already picked it up, because she has the date written down. Unless that's the day they're supposed to get it, and then she has it written down early. Should have known. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. <laughs> Free drinks tonight at the Black Tap, the Black Lantern, to celebrate my sister's arrival. What the hell is wrong with you, kid? The mo there most certainly are not. Too late. It's already been posted on the internet. Getting lit for free? Just try it. Riley, can't confirm. Alex is great. Can't confirm. 
how she turned out so well and you turned out so you it's a nature nurture thing <laughs> based wait can i like it i see the likes can i like it too oh that's that's a missed opportunity right there i can't actually like the post that's a missed opportunity hmm. typhoon mining reminder to all haven residents that the typhoon mining will set off charges tonight at 9 p.m. Please ensure designated danger zones are clear. Call our 24-hour safety line with any questions of concerns. My poster has disabled replies. My sister Alex is finally getting into town tomorrow, so I expect everyone to be on their least worst behavior. I'll be adding her to my block as soon as she gets in. Say hi, everyone. Charlotte Hammond, so exciting. Oh! Is, her, is this his girlfriend? Wait, wait, I want to see her. I need to judge the MILF. Riley Leith, I could barely handle one Chen. No way, tomorrow? Ha so happy for you. I'll buy you a beer tonight to celebrate. Aw, that's so sweet. Haven Springs, reminder, Town Hall will be fielding any questions that you may have regarding Typhoon Mining operate, opening a second open mine pit mine. If there's anything you want to know, leave a comment. What kind of impact would a second mine have on the environment? Thanks for that question, Eleanor. We'll be sure to address that. I'll be happy to address that as well, but I doubt Typhon would like my answer. Angela Anderson, will this lead to more traffic through town? My kids walk home from school, those and those tall trucks make me nervous. Charlotte said second that. Um, Haven Springs said, thanks for voicing this concern. I'll make sure we talk about that. Brandon Whitaker, or Whitaker, Whitaker, Whitaker? They're creating a bunch of new jobs, right? Do they know how many yet? Haven Springs said, I will find out soon. Ethan. Why is it, why does this kid have a platform on this internet? Why does this kid have... Why is this kid on this website? Kids should not have platforms on social media. <laughs> Ethan Lambert. The latest issue of Legendary Monster Hunter Thanor is finished. Wait, Monster Hunter? Is Monster Hunter Square Enix? Yeah. Okay, so they can use that. Okay. Steph Gringrich. Gringrich. Way to go. How many can I have for the store? I'll take them in to get copies made this weekend. Smiley face. So is the mom. Mom Charlotte. The MILF. The hot MILF. Potentially hot MILF. I need to see her in person. Because... That picture is not very, um, this picture's not very, uh, nice for her. <laughs> they didn't take very good pictures of her. These are very, uh, interesting pictures <laughs> that they took for everybody. <laughs> Ethan even looks a little derpy. He looks like a sim. He looks like a sim. <laughs> Gabe said, ready to be Thanor for real in the LARP next week? Ethan said, totally. It's gonna be legendary. So it looks like it's like a whole, the whole town's on this platform. Maybe it's a, maybe it was made by somebody from, maybe it's like a Facebook group where everyone from the town is in here. That's probably what it is. So I guess that's okay. It's kind of like a Facebook where you can like at, at least monitor your kid. This weekend is your last chance to sign up for a mountain song, a live action role playing event in Denver. I'm help organizing it and it's going to be rad. Ethan and I are going, you sh so, sh you, so you should too. Are you guys stoked or what? I can barely sleep. He's not lying. My kids might be interested. Shoot me the link. You got it. Mm. Charlotte Hammond said, Family portraits are open for commission. I can work off photograph or live pose. Pet portraits and other art are open as well. Awesome. When can we get you started on one of my two daughters? I have a great photo of them. Ready when you are. Email me the photo and we can talk about size and prices. Angela says, thanks again for the one you did of Sonny and I and the kids. Made a great Christmas card. Ducky, how much for one of your lovely sculptures? Perhaps a squirrel or an Alphodontia rufa? All wet now? Ryan says, it's kind of a rodent commonly called a mountain beaver, which is really a misnomer as they don't build dams. Gabe said, nerd. Riley. If anyone needs help with any computer help, hit me up. I'm pretty good with tech and trying to save up some extra cash in the next couple weeks. Just let me know. Jelly Bean Lady said, can you teach my mom how to use her email? <laughs> Riley said, sure. 
Angela said maybe you could come by the shop and take a look at our computer. Our payment software has been acting up. Riley said let's find a day. And then Charlotte said in, in one post she becomes the whole town's IT. Riley responded with an emoji. A laugh my ass off emoji. That's funny. Jason Pike. This guy looks like a douchebag. Huge thank you to Typhon Mining for donating two new brand two brand new Road King law enforcement motorcycles to the force. We'll be able to patrol roads faster and more safely than ever. Typhon Mining, your community is our community. Let's keep it safe. Jed said, makes me miss my riding days. Max said, you can arrest me on one of those anytime. <laughs> that sounds gay as fuck. <laughs> They look like twins. This dude literally has the same fucking haircut. Keela, don't they look like twins? Yeah. Leaf Flowers. Um, Leaf Flowers is celebrating its 30th anniversary of serving Haven Community on Saturday. Come by for some lemonade and cake. Riley said, congrats, Nana. Eleanor said, couldn't have made it the last few years without you. Congrats yourself. Jed Lucan said, can't wait. Congratulations, Eleanor. Here's to many more. Oh my god, how many more? Okay, we're almost done. Charlotte Hant Harmon said, parkour lessons? Does anyone know where I could take Ethan for parkour lessons? He picked it up from his dad in Arizona, and ever since he's been jumping off the walls, literally. Chris Peter says, I know there's a peak parkour in Golden, but that's quite a trek. Any suggestions helps. Gabe said, full flow parkour in Grand Junction. Charlotte said, good, fine. Gabe said, told you I'd come through. Jed Lucan, and here's the address for St. Remus Hospital in Grand Junction. <laughs> 1840 S. Kellerman Road, just in case. Base dude. Worried about, worried about our children's safety. <laughs> Gabe, I want to wish a huge happy birthday to Haven's one and only, only nerdy bird loving looks great with that beard park ranger ryan lucan why why does everyone seem so gay and loving here it's great i love it <laughs> they're so small they probably all know each other yeah no they probably do they're all best friends it's like one piece all over again where they can say like super gay shit <laughs> The world becomes a better place when he was born 47 years ago. Happy birthday, bro. Wait, he's 47 years <laughs> Ryan said, thanks, Gabe. A little off with the age, though. Riley said, don't be mean, Gabe. You only turned 47 once. Ryan said, 24 for the record. Riley said, is that in dog years or... Stephanie said, dead. Ryan said, you guys do this bit every year. Does it ever get old? Jed said, not as old as you. Oh, it's his dad. Okay, okay, okay. Now I understand the connection, why he was being, like, um, he was being kind of, like, facetious in a lot of his other posts. <laughs> I was like, okay, who is this fucking guy? I didn't realize Ryan's name was Lucan. <laughs> he said, dad. <laughs> okay, I understand. I understand the connection now. He, he was being facetious in a lot of his other posts. And I was just like, okay, who the fuck is this old dude? <laughs> is he just a meme? Josh Hopkins said, happy birthday, Ryan. Aw, that's sweet. Have Haven Bird, Haven Springs Birding Society. We are proud of a nerd, a nerd, a nerd, <laughs> a nerd, a <laughs> nerd. We are proud to announce this year's birding competition. The Haven Springs Bird Off begins this weekend. Official sightings lists will be available on our website Saturday at midnight. Good luck, birders. Birdiers? Birders? What the fuck is that word? Birders? Birders. Birders. Ashley McFarlane. Do we get bonus points for multiple sightings of the same species like last year? Ryan said you'll need to more than that to beat me. Ashley said, sleep with one eye open, Lucan, so you can spot more birds. <laughs> Hazel said, exciting. Ducky. Hand super glued to taxidermy animal help. What? How the fuck did you glue your hand to taxidermy? Ducky, did you mean to type this into Google? What? You need to be typing it into Google if you want an answer right away. Where's that? 
How about I come over with some nail polish remover? It'll be easier for both of us. <laughs> he glued his hand to a taxidermy on me. Oh no. Charlotte. Ham Harmon. Huge thanks to everyone who helped out with Doc Day. All of our kiddos will be safe from splinters another year. Jed said that old Doc never looked any better. Gabe said, and my hands never looked worse. <laughs> Eleanor said, thank you for the organization. For the organizing, organizing that Charlotte, Charlotte said hearts. There's some SMMs. There's a lot of text messages. Mariella. Oh my god, there's so much more. Holy hell. Oh boy. More reading. Alright, let me take a sip. This is gonna be more reading. This was 2014. Wow, this was years ago. Hey, is this still your number? Oh my god, Alex. Hey, Mari. So good to hear from you. How are you? I'm okay. Sorry to ask, but do you have a place I could crash? My amazing decision-making abilities got me into some trouble. Yes, of course. Our apartment has a couch with your name on it. I'll call you in a few. Thank you so much. I'll pay you back with tender love and affection. LOL. Merry Christmas, Alex. I hope you're someplace warm. Hey, Mari, yeah, I'm totally smoking. Merry Christmas. Did you ever figure things out with Miss Stevens? No, she's a bitch. I ended up back in the group home after that. Oh, no. So sorry, Alex. You deserve better. All good. I already added her to my won't be sad if, if murdered list. <laughs> Hi, Mari. I bought the latest PTC vinyl. I will trade it away for a few more nights on your couch. Hey, LOL. Sure thing. I'm home right now. Thanks. I promise I won't make this a habit. I got you, girl. Alex, how are you? I haven't heard from you in forever. Hey, sorry I missed this. This year's been crazy, but I'm managing you. This was in 2016. Wow. It jumped like a year. Like a whole year. One a day at a time. I met a pretty nice guy at work. We've gone out a few times. Oh, cool. Tell him to not fuck it up. She said, laugh my ass off. Oh, that was on 9-11. That's kind of sad. Hey, I'm in your neck of the woods. Want to get a drink? This was in 2017. Hola, chica. I already started. Let's go. LOL. I actually got a table at Auntie's for once. Come by. Sick. BRT. Hey, Mari. I'm really sorry, but can I crash again? I decided I needed to take a break from the hellhole known as Helping Hands. Alex, I'm so sorry, but I have a few friends staying the night with me right now, so I can't. Maybe in a week or two? No worries. I'll figure something else out. Have a good night. You too. Good luck and be safe. Hey, are you okay? You left the bar pretty quick last night. Hi, Mari. You there? Mari, don't be coy. I've totally seen you naked. Mari, please text me if you got this. I was just joking about the stuff I said last week. There's nothing weird about me. Ex expect that one birthmark. I was drunk. I was just joking. Mari, please. I need you, of all people, to not treat me like a freak. Please. What's even going on with you, Mari? I have no idea. Maybe she had a crush on her and maybe, or maybe something was said. Because remember, she can read minds. So maybe something was said and she took it poorly. Or she read her mind and that's kind of sad to think about if that was the case. I had to plug in my, my iPhone. My iPhone is dying. Isaac. Um, this was in 2019. You have something that's way better than beer and you know it. Wink. I just need a place to sleep. And that's what I got. Then come over. Oh, that's what I got. And then some just come over. This caller has been blocked. You would no longer receive messages from their, from their, their number. Damn. Oh, wait. That was the bottom. <laughs> Lol. Hey, Alex. It's Isaac from the record store. Thanks for schooling me on Brianna Lilac. Her first album's great. It was nice meeting you yesterday. You must have the wrong number. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm kidding. Dude, it's Alex. LOL. Jesus, I was so bummed out for a second. Why would you do that to me? Sorry, it was nice meeting you too. I would love to take you out for some coffee sometime. You owe me that for that cruel and unusual joke. Ha! Maybe next weekend? Great, I'll ping you Saturday. Have a happy Halloween. Hey Alex, are you free tonight for a drink? I know a spot downtown that serves the 
literally the perfect sangria. Hey, Isaac, sorry for the delay. I can't do drinks, but maybe coffee after lunch? You can try and redeem your musical tastes. Challenge, challenge accepted. Have you been to the Silver Kettle on Southwest Washington? Not yet. 3 p.m.? See you there. I had a great time, Alex, despite your questionable choice in beverage. There is nothing wrong with hot chocolate. Smiley face. Hi, Alex. You free for drinks tonight? I'm craving another lesson on Portland singer or songwriters. Prepare for an education. Call me after lunch. You got it. Hey, beautiful. Interested in a cocktail tonight or just tons of popcorn and a movie? Why not both? Now we're talking. Let's start with the cocktail. You free at eight-ish? Sure. Very belated, but happy new year. Sorry I've been out of touch. Just been busy with my program. Happy new year. Don't worry about it. Can I take you out tonight? How about full-on dinner with wine and bread like an actual dinner? Actual dinner sounds great. Th thanks, Isaac. I'll be glammed up a bit. It's about time. You need to step up your glam game. Hey, you haven't seen me roll out of bed level glam. Maybe I'll see that tomorrow morning, Winky. Easy there, Trigger. Smiley face. Hey, Isaac, you around? Hey, Alex, how goes it? Do you think I can crash at your place tonight? That hashtag foster care life is catching up with me. Of course, I'll get the wine. Get out the wine. So she's an alcoholic. Maybe. Because I noticed he was pushing alcohol a lot. Because he was like, she said, okay, like up here she said, um, she said no alcohol up here. She said something about no alcohol. I can't do drinks, but maybe coffee after lunch. Maybe you could try to redeem your musical. I can't do drinks. And to me that means that she doesn't like drinking alcohol. But she could also be a minor, but I don't know. I don't know how old she is. But, um, she might not be, but I don't know. And then he starts going, interested in a cocktail tonight or just popcorn in a movie? And then she's like, why not both? Cocktails. Um, how about with wine? Um, and then he's like, I'll get out the wine. Like, he keeps bringing up alcohol. Regularly. And I noticed that in the other text, too. Where she was like, oh, I was just kidding. I was drink. I was, I was just kind of drunk or something like that. Thank you so much. I don't really need the wine. I'm actually pretty beat. I'll take it out just in case. Call me when you're downstairs. Alex, last night was incredible. I'm really glad you came over. Everything okay? Hey, yeah, we just moved a little fast last night. Can we hold off on smegs for a little while? What's wrong? I thought you were having a good time. I just wasn't in the right mindset. Sorry to hear that. You were giving me all the right signals and I thought you were interested. Hey, Alex, want to get a drink? Alex, you wait. Let me know when you get these. Alex... Come get drinks. I'm buying. Alex? Hey, yeah, Isaac. Alex Chen? Long time no see. I know, right? Listen, I need a place to crash again. Can I bribe you with free beer? You have something that's way better than beer, and you know it. I just need a place to sleep. And that's what I got. And then some. Just come over. So she blocked him. Because he was being creepy. Mm, makes sense. Yeah, because he kind of pushed himself on her, probably. From the implications here. Yeah, we just moved a little fast last night. Can we hold off on smegs for a while? Like, that, to me, immediately tells me. Because she knew that she was not in the right mental state. And he still pushed himself on her. Like, last night was amazing. Because she probably did drink. And, yeah. That's... Yeah, I'm glad she blocked him. Good riddance. It's a bad rubbish. Isaac, you're scum. Jean. Hey, is this Jean? That's Cosmic Charlie to you, friend. Who to whom am I speaking? Alex, Stacy gave me your number. Are you still selling? Only to know only to those who truly know how to surrender to the flow. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't th fucking think you belong in our family. Biatch. Whoa, okay then. Is this Bridget? You're not going to stay here. Go back to where you came from. I wonder what your parents will think about this behavior. They won't believe you. You're texting me, genius. I have a written record. Fuck you. I mean, only if you're, uh, willing. <laughs> Dr. Lin. Ah, this is her doctor. Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. Are you going to make it, Alex? Punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your... Uh, Assigned counselor are a precondition of your residence at Helping Hands, Alex. Let's call this strike one. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. P 
per our session yesterday to pilot the self by Dr. Levi Hobbutner. Right, thanks. I hope you find it helpful. Just checking in. How are you feeling after everything? Is Heather okay? She's hurt, which I think you'll agree is understandable, but she's not hurt. I'm so sorry. Alex, where are you? Your things are gone. Who are you with? Alex, please get me in touch. No one knows where you are. Alex, I realize you're in an emotionally vulnerable position right now. I'd like to speak to you before I leave for the night. Are you settled in? Yes. May I stop by your room briefly? Yes. Good luck in this new chapter of your life. Please know that I am here for you if you need me. This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages from their number. Huh. I wonder if this Helping Hands organization was a very toxic place. Unless it's a place to help people take care of their powers. Because it is possible that a lot of these people woke up overnight and were discovered to have powers. Because so far it's three people so far that have these powers out of the blue. Oh boy. Here we go with Gabe. Gabe's going to be a long one. Alex. Who's this? Holy shit. Alex Chen? I'm sorry. Who is this? It's Gabe. Is this some kind of joke? No, you dork. Call me right now. Hey, it was so rad catching up yesterday. Chat again later? Yeah, sure. How was your weekend? Pretty good. Charlotte and I took Ethan hiking. Tons of fun. How about you? Finally listened to the new Painter Thinner Coffee album. They're killing it. PTC Rips. Ever seen them live? Not yet. Definitely will when I get the chance. Hey, how are things? Hey, Alex. Sorry I haven't texted things. Are crazy busy. How are you? Things are weird right now dealing with it. Do you need help? No, I'm okay, thanks. Alien, would you ever want to live in... Haven? Duck. Duck! Not alien. You're not alien. Ah! Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> not alien. You're not an alien. You're Ally. Autocorrect. LOL, this phone is an idiot. Ally! You awake? LOL, hey bud, have you been drinking? No, this is my natural state. Answer the question. Go to bed. Oh, fuck. I drunk texted you. <laughs> Serious well. though? For FTR, offer stands. Haven's cool. Hey, what's up? I haven't heard you from you in days. Are you alright? Alex, please call me when you get this. How are you holding up? I'm okay. It's been shitty here, but we've been through worse. Let me know if you need anything. we Will do. I can't believe you're coming. Yes. Me neither. Thanks again for sending the ticket. You're a lifesaver. Of course. We are so excited to have you here. Tomorrow is the big day. You need anything? Nope. I'm good. I don't have much to carry, you know? Peace. <laughs> hey, I'm about an hour away. Can't wait. I'm ready for you. Bus just pulled in. Smile, smile, smile. On my way. I'm so excited. That's a cute little sticker. Aw, that's a cute picture of her. Why can't she have this profile picture? Why did they give her some derpy ass little picture? Bro, she's adorable right here. Look at her. She's adorable. She looks upset. Yeah, so she looks stoic face, though. <laughs> she looks so upset, bro. He looks so happy. Wait, this is the sunflowers. He just got her the sunflowers. She looks so upset, bro. <laughs> World's okay as the boyfriend. Gaw. You were right. Re sunflowers. Feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. Cool, thanks. Bridget. Don't fucking think... Wait, did I read this? I already read this. How the fuck did I read this before Gabe? I'm so confused. Okay, well, that's fine. Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Or, Ch hey, Alex, it's Chelsea. Thank you so much for your help with Harley last night. I almost said Harley Quinn. <laughs> My jaw is still sore, but it could have been way worse if you didn't step in. Hey, Chelsea, I'm glad you're okay. Harley is awful. Don't worry, not every girl in that is that bad in foster care text me if you need anything okay heart 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 oh my god thank you i didn't think i was gonna get any birthday gifts the necklace is beautiful happy birthday don't be too thankful i bought it at a pawn shop lol hey orphans can't be picky right truth hey alex sorry to bother you do you have any spare pads i'm having a situation here sob no bother check the drawer in my nightstand i think i stashed some in there you remain my hero thank you heart Hey, Chelsea, I have something important to tell you and didn't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado and live with my brother. Leaving you was the literal only downside to this plan. I'm really sorry. Just know that I, 
I'm always a phone call or a text away, okay? Congrats. Don't be sorry. I'm so happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? I want to hear all about it. Sounds good. Good luck. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Don't let anyone push you around, okay? You're rad as hell. Life has been hard these past few years, but I'm really glad we met. Me too. I've had friends like that. That's so sad. Oh god, the journal. There's gonna be a journal. Tessa and anger. Bitter and jealous and a little queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. What a mess. I split her lip open. Poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take to heal. It'll, it's hard to clean blood off your clothes. It makes you feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps it to herself. Mostly of the other kids do, actually. So that'll be business as usual until a new group comes in and this starts all over again. The worst part? They confiscated my fucking guitar. Two week ban. At least I'll get it back. GMF. GMF. C. D. M. I promise, I promise, it's not what you say. No favors, no secrets, none coming my way. And after all this, you still had to pay. I tried to write this down so many times and they ended up in the trash. Let's see how far I can get. I really liked Isabel. She was sweet and loved to paint. She and smuggled in a few beers for us on weekends, but her depression was brutal. It kept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone and I had to focus to just keep breathing. Like dripping your ribcage in lead. It was always hard to get away from. Eventually it got too much. Two bottles of sedatives lying in vomit. Her eyes open and glass, glassy and afraid. I'm sorry, Isabel. I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla-flavored holding pen. I wish for you to, wish for you, I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. If I ever see you again, I'll bring the beer. That's sad. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Dark badass. Badass. Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. What? Bro. Damn. The legend only grows. <laughs> All right, you're looking at 20 even. Do we even have that much? Oh shit, she's loaded. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> anxiety? She can sense anxiety and emotions. And read minds, too. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. <sighs> You're a lifesaver. Oh. No bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. It's not about him, though. He shouldn't. I uh, probably just saw her have a you panic okay? attack. Never better, better now. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. Probably can't handle like anger and stuff. You got it. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. <laughs> so far, as well. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. He what have you guys been record. up to? Interesting. Talking about birds, checking out the place. Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. 
Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, oh, and she uh, to sneak it. he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> it's in here. Don't worry about it. I should check in. Do you mind? Go for it. No, yeah. You have a of course. child to take care of now that you're dating a MILF. <laughs> what up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. Kind of LARP. So we gotta talk road trips mm -hmm. next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that OK? No. No. Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capish. Capish, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. The dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Yeah, but Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. Yeah, that. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? But what's the date? What's the date? I'm worried about Ethan. Oh, this kid's gonna die. I'm scared. I, I wanna tell Gabe. I feel like I should tell Gabe. I know Ethan trusted us to keep the secret, but yeah, I I I, I feel like I should tell him because He's gonna get in trouble, and they're gonna blow up the mines. They said something about blowing up mines, and I'm scared that he's going on the day they're blowing up the mines. Oh, that's the last time I've only seen you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. This fucking kid. I'm gonna tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. <laughs> really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You, you did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? Because what they can say is like, oh, we came in to check in on you while you were at home, but you weren't there, so where were you? So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? It used to be <laughs> silver <laughs> back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh, oh. radiation! Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. Oh, it's pretty intense. That sounds tonight. like it. Okay, what about Look who it is? Jed. Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Oh, Alex, Gabe. this uh, is my the, buddy Jed. The guy we met. Not buddy, Gabe. hell! Will Lucas? you listen to this horse shit? His bossy means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last twelve years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Jag based oh. man. Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. 
Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> just about same. I was excited to see him too. Guess we're an almost wet yourself kind of family. <laughs> ah, I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? No. Not in detail? I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. <laughs> I'm already charmed by this oh, old man. I like you leave, him. Word of warning. <laughs> Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. Max got this bug up again. So, so you come spring to festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. <laughs> oh, you've been before. The Black Lantern. I like the gothic font. So we live above here. That's cool. We get to live above a bar. That's awesome, honestly. And Jeb seems really fucking cool. Like, he's the type of guy, to me, that seems like you could be late on your um, rent and he'd be okay with it. He would be more concerned about you trying to get your shit together than you worrying about a place needing a place to stay. I don't know. That's what I get from him. Shit, man. What's the vibe I get from him? This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. Best you could do? It's really nice. No, this is fucking legit. Like, he's got a fireplace in the corner. I would love this. Holy shit. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then. Welcome to my crib. This is cute. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Aww. What do you mean, mine? What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. <laughs> we call them homes. Oh, right. She's an orphan. She wouldn't actually know what I mean a it. home is like. I want you to have a fresh start I here. Laugh. That's not funny, actually. Sorry. That's inappropriate. Gabe. <laughs> I... Thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> this is honestly legit. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just. You look a lot like how I imagine you'd be. Aw, that's cute. Yeah. Do I look how you expected? More... Didn't expect the beard, yeah. I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, <laughs> you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. You have a Subaru? Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, cause I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this, this is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. I won't be able to hear it. <laughs> nice record sound. Radio silence is so good. 
Wait, I got this. Two. I got this. I got this. We bring back the theme song. <laughs> I can't get over this. Feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. What even is that? <laughs> what even is that? You're way off tempo. <laughs> you just gotta let the beat flow through you. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> you want to take a part? Fine. Oh. I called this. So let's take a fire for me. Nothing fell down here. You never lost a beat! <laughs> well, we gotta turn off the theme song. What a bumping album. I know, right? <laughs> I love my theme song. It probably didn't even fit. I'll have to come back and watch it after the fact and see what it sounded like. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Probably yeah! Yup, Mac. Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass uh, right now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. I didn't... It's okay. <laughs> that boy's gonna have to redesign his face. Max's gonna kill us. <sighs> no, he's gonna get the heart of that. He's just this fucking psycho. You can both go fuck yourselves. You're the one that's I'm Please, so don't sorry. worry about it. He started it. What the fuck do you mean? He deserved it. He had it coming. Fuck. And yeah, the other game's tech. 
do generally take a lot of memory. Before, before when I was playing the Wait, first game, games, Alex. it used to crash my it's computer fine. completely. I would blue screen. So be grateful I even I can go run our shift. models right now. <laughs> I remember the times when I couldn't even run our models. That was a whole thing. Great. That was a whole thing. Hmm, Max gonna. To be fair, he was slightly justified. Yeah, but he started it. <sighs> but yeah, she, so it looks like her anger. I'm okay. I don't really know how her powers work, interestingly enough. Huh. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't really know how her powers work. From what it seems like, it's like a giant panic attack. I guess I might as well unpack. Ryan. Hey Alex, this is Ryan. It was nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking more later. Nice meeting you too. Sounds good. Oh, Steph messaged me too. Hey Alex, it's Stephanie. Sorry I had to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the lantern tonight. You too. That's it. Did we message game? No, we did not. Hang on. I hear video game. Gabe, eat Ethel, Gabe, Gabe, Stephanie. Okay. Climb up, drop down, avoid ghosts and minecarts, power ups or batteries, quest points. Just like Donkey Kong. You can't go down them? Oh, they're poles. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't die. I'm breaking your leg. I'm gonna get fucked by this ghost. Why you fuck me? No, 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 fuck. I didn't jump there. Why didn't he jump, bro? Bro. 
picking the next Must thing just piling in, clearly. No, I can't jump over those. That's fine. Mm. Ah, there's always one credit. Aha! We can do this. We're gonna do this. I believe. No! Ah, fuck! You're forced to take a poll? No, okay, there we go. Come here, you little fucking ghosts. I'm supposed to do this. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I see. I see. I'm supposed to do it. Okay, okay. I see. I see. Okay. Go right here. Avoid the cart. Then we wait for the cart to go. Yep. Okay. If we miss that coin, then we go take this. Slide down. Can jump a little bit. I don't know. Because you didn't break your legs, dude? Yeah, I'm surprised about that too. Mm, I'm gonna get fucked. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucked. No! <gasps> ha! Fuck you, ghosts. Yeah, I guess I can't get on the elevator platforms. Harder the longer you take. Yeah. 
What? Oh. What? I've jumped from that distance before. What? Bullshit. That's cheating. That is cheating. That's cheating. Bullshit. You know what that is? Probably. What? You land. You landed on metal. You're probably right. I didn't think about that. Because the rest of the terrain is dirt, so it doesn't really break your legs unless you fall from a massive height. But I should have just went straight there. Because I wanted to get the big coin. I should have just made a rip bad dash. Like, oh, not like that. I fucked up twice. Should wait. Here, wait. There we go. I'm in car OP. We'll come back later. We'll play later. Oof. We're gonna beat that game later. Greetings from Mexico. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Gabe, got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention center. Sure. He told me to fuck off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew you were right that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever m mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Love, Len. Len Pagamine? I know it kicks the drywall crack when I see one. Uh oh. There's a sword. Why do you have a sword in here? Is that a sword? Like a real sword or a fake sword? No, it's a wooden sword. We didn't even get to finish the song. No, that's unfortunate. I know my theme song is amazing. Huh. They've really changed the art style since I read these. So Son of Lead. Idol Comics 250. Son of Lead. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Dino Racer 2. Corythosaurus Cup. Corythosaurus Cup. That's awesome. It's for general audiences. It's cute. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? I had a feeling Lumberjack Dude was a hunter. Lumberjack Dude always a hunter. <laughs> That's a lot of alcohol. Holy shit. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Honestly, that's cute and wholesome. Based, based stepdad. Gabe is a based stepdad. Honestly, good for him. Where's the missing puzzle piece? This is gonna irritate me. Oh my God, there's no, where's the puzzle piece? I need to finish that. Oh my God, please. <laughs> you can't just no, no, that's not okay. This is not okay. It's my thing cover, look at it. 
This is not okay. This is a problem. I don't like this. This is a problem that needs to be fixed. You should look at it again. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Wait, was there an option to hold back? I only saw the W. Whoa. So not not pressing like it at all. Turn my brother into a model citizen. That's probably. You could have just stared. Yeah. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Photo. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Them. They're so cute, honestly. They're so cute. She looks so happy right here. This is so cute. They're so cute together. Honestly, I love it. Charlotte made this? Oh my Gabe god. Gabe mentioned cute. she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. That's cute, though. I like it. It's a. Fabric of the heart kind of art piece, I get. Because she rips, she feels all sorts of feelings based on how she feels about Gabe. That's so cute. I'm surprised he doesn't have that at their house, but that's okay. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. He's got his little trophies of Ethan's, I think. His name is Little Kid. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. What's upstairs? I'm kind of curious. Oh, well, we can't go upstairs. Okay, where is this puzzle piece? It's gonna kill me if I can't find Alex. Alex? Do I wanna know? Yes, we wanna know. It's our house now, so anything of Gabe's is legally mine. Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oregon Department of Human Services, Child Welfare Office, Loretta Vance, Program Manager, Child Welfare, 971555-3721, Portland, Oregon, 97214. Unable to release location. Try Program Director, something. Um, Alex placed a group home in Portland, Oregon. Um, it says something. Oh, try program director. Oh, Alex. It was Alex right there. That's Alex. Okay. Sunnyside Valley Home, Everett Street Child Services, Helping Hands Group Home. Um, I can't go next for some reason. Why can I not go next? Okay, there we go. Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Hello Gabe, Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We are glad to see you're doing well, so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system and we don't know where she lives now. Here is the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Oregon Child Protective Services, 485-555-3578. 3578. <laughs> Line only available, third Wednesday of the month? Question mark, question mark. We wish you luck finding in finding her. Try human services, child welfare. Best the more moralises. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Nope, a dude. Alex Chen, Alex Chen, Alex Chen, 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 Chen. <clears throat> Got through, not her. Automated voicemail follow up. Old number, now some old dude. No dude named Adam. Aw, he's trying to find her. He was trying to find her. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. <laughs> Miss Lee, your application for CIT's 2019 summer programming launchpad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congrats and good luck. Gabe, ah, uh, it's happening. Please, 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 please help me prep Riley. Fuck off, Mac. You don't deserve a girl like her. Get dressed. Wait, there's different outfits. There's little. Ooh, that's cute. 
Wait, did I get the DLC with the outfits? Or is this all the outfits that come with it? Wait, I need to check. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious. Oh no, no, it's definitely not this one. Okay, there's different outfits. Okay. I don't think I have any of these outfits. Or those outfits, I mean. I'm gonna go with the black one. This one's cute. The little bear. Little teddy bear's kinda cute. Oh, this... a fox in the jacket? Mm. Fox? This one? That's a tiger. Tiger. That's cute. Yeah, this is cute. I like these colors. That's cute. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Ew, he's got like slob stains all over his shirt. So mom died. Dad was probably an alcoholic and just not a very good person. He refused to take care of them and they were taken into the foster care system. And yeah, the rest is history. Dad already looks like a problem. But you know, that's kind of the case. Pack? Unpack Shoo Shoo. Shoo Shoo? Like a plushie? Oh god. Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. You know what? She's gotten me through some hard times, but. Shoo Shoo's base! I was hoping we were done with that. Shushu is based. Look We've at seen her. things, haven't we, Shushu? Shushu is based. That is a cute rat m mouse thing. It's cute. Shushu? Rouse. There's the thing. Oh, yeah. Ethan's really talented. It makes sense video. that his mom's an artist. The tunnel to monster stronghold of Demonheim collapsed. I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail seems to end here, unless hollow. Aha! He crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps, if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Chup, chup, chup. Your flying days are over, Cloud Serpent, but you may still be of use to me. We're gonna jump onto it, and we're gonna grab it. And we're gonna we'll walk through the hole that it created. It's beautiful. That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. That's it for now beautiful. Unpack the letters. So I know a lot of people that actually don't look through their letters when they come home to like a new home. Wait, why is Riley's? Oh, it's just weird. Why is it I hit like Gabe that? because of this stupid mess. Well, there's more context, or I guess. I hit Gabe because of this stupid mess. I don't know, it keeps showing me a ping. That's weird. I don't know. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey, Alex, what's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple of times for a place to stay, and now he's harassing me. I'm also leading Burnside. The supervisor's a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. I'm honestly running out of options, but you know me. I'll get creative. Anyways, you're good. Is Lawrence still there? Remember when you fucked her up, lol? Miss your dumbass XO Sydney. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before opening it if you're reading this. Thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting. It was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. I really wish those meds had worked. Ax Chun, new address. Section. 
Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. That's cute. Look at those rats. Dear Alex, happy birthday. Here's hoping you have, you're having an absolute fan fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a sh single shitty thing from sun up to sundown. Real talk though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we've met. I felt safe and happy. Even loved having, even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Harley's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes, even when I don't ask. You don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the good, the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. So she was actually a really nice girl. She was really, really sweet. She just had this weird power that makes her fester people's emotions and feel their hatred and anger and she can absorb people's emotions and it causes her to lash out but she can also read minds which is really weird she has to find a way to restrain herself i guess yeah. hmm. she probably has to she probably had to teach herself how to tune out people's minds oh she ripped out the side of her parents crazy how much we've changed time to replace the one with the dad <laughs> and put the real one there put the real photo in there put it on the side with the parents bam huh <laughs> she put it over her father that's funny because she said you're an asshole the only one who matters is mom yeah, that tells me a lot about what's already happened. So yeah, dad didn't take care of them at all. Dad was a fucking shit stain on this planet. Unpack journal. My journal! My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. She already fucked it up with Gabe. Now Gabe hates me. And then we get to see the the journal. Oh. Mac anger. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door. Like something was slipping under the frame. Something red. Something raw. Then there was Mac. And that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know when I'm losing control. And no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is running a boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone. Like it's going to happen, and then no one could stop me. Red, rage, relief. Max's anger felt hot and a little dizzy, and also a bit afraid, really. It was also all about Riley. The thought of her being with someone else, the thought of her being with anyone else, it was all under his skin, burning. That feeling, like hot cords grinding around being behind your ribs. It's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over, when your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from humming to a lazy jackhammer. It's such a relief. Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? These threads that bind us up, they burn us and weave. Inside my ribs, they hurt until you leave. Seed, breathe, cleave. Interesting. Oh, there's some more updates. Mike Lawler. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me. Enough with all the transplants moving here. I don't care if it's for good for the economy. I miss Haven the way it used to be. It'd be fine if any of them knew how to drive, especially in the snow or at night. Jed, say Mike. I remember if if I remember correctly, you yourself came out here from Jersey a couple of years ago. Mike, yeah. And look how downhill everything's gone since then. Steph equal owned equal self. <laughs> Leaf Flowers, calling volunteers to help with this year's spring festival. The sign-up sheet is on the east side of Leaf Flowers. Swing by to see what roles are still needed of a volunteer. Let's put, a, let's put together another great festival. The Black Lantern will always be providing beers as always. Aaron, the only reason to go. Charlotte Harmon, the art is coming along. I can't wait to display it. Leaf Flowers. And special thanks to Diana Typhon Mining, who has coordinated Typhon's sponsorship of, the, of this year's festival. Diane. It was our pleasure. Let's make this year a one to remember. Hmm. So I guess they have like a love-hate relationship with this typhoon mining company. 
Yeah. It, it's kind of helping the, this town out. Probably still bringing in people. and It's helping bring in people from the sounds of it. Instead of letting it die off, which is a good thing. Honestly, small towns like this are so cute and quaint. I love it. I Ugh. Love small towns like this. I'll finish this later. There's something under here. Oh, thanks for the follow, Gray. <gasps> A guitar. Alex, here's a little something to say. No fucking way. You got her a guitar. Here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred, G. Aww. He's probably going to reveal it after they played with the record. She pulled that sucker out. She's like, mine. Oh boy, copyright. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it's just her and no Ill instrumentals? Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? Great song. Sounds <laughs> beautiful. Sing that song. Na 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 <laughs> it worked out. It was about the same lane. <laughs> you and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I mean, you just punched a guy in the face. Justify clearly. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Absolutely. Let's go. You and me, game? We're gonna, we have a score to settle. Oh, it's a board game. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me. Jerk.
Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. She's pretty! Dad? Look at her! I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. <laughs> it's fine, I don't need to go. So Ryan knows what he's doing, now you just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Oh, no. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? pretty damn hard yeah I mean I guess but it's amazing to be here I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic he obviously thinks you're really cool literally nothing about kids but he seems like one of the good ones I appreciate that he's my favorite person <laughs> by the way thanks for telling us about the mine Ethan's not allowed up there anymore yeah no problem I hope you won't be mad at me you did the right thing beef pie special watch the gravy <laughs> Jed you didn't have to now Ryan said you're skipping dinner no starving artists on my watch. See? This guy's a legit king. Look at him. He's I like... I do have to get going. He probably doesn't I'm making even some cheeses for the spring the festival upstairs, and they have to be done honestly. tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah. Same. He probably does, but I mean, like... Bye. Seems Thanks like for he supper. If, yep. he, if he was low on money or cash. Which is really sweet of that dude. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Go with Gabe's story, come clean. Mm. Keela, what do you think? Best to get everything clean and on the table early on, right? He doesn't seem like a guy who would give a shit, so I'll probably yeah. come clean. Yeah. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal I around have a here. Feeling, yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Sounds Got done. it. Easy. Easier said than it's done. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. He's like, I got a new person I can hire. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the Can I get you two anything? Miss Chen! 
here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. So what you're saying is he's loose lips. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Kind of bizarre, kind of perfect. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people. And now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, oh, God, recently God. working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad oh, there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. <laughs> Cheeseburger with mushrooms? My dad was in the service. Probably do that first. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Mushrooms with burger with mushrooms. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh huh. And. Was this pie special with onion rings? Hey, it wasn't paying attention to that. I just know that he wanted a pie. Pie with onion rings. One pie special with onion rings. I think it was onion rings. I think it was fries. Oh no. Ducky asked for his usual? Yes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. That's funny. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? It's probably yeah. Upstairs. Serves him right if you ask I me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh. If you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There's so much I have to do. There must be something around Hi, the Black Square. Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Well, I saw alcohol upstairs. Let me quickly go back upstairs real quick. I think I know where to look for it. Because there was a giant pile of bottles on top of the... Uh, yeah, like All right, the let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. So back over here. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. It's just not up here. Maybe in the kitchen? Oh, oh, wait, 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 right? Maybe it's in the fridge. Oh, I can't open the fridge. Bro, why can I not open the fridge? Some people put their whiskey in the fridge, you know? You never know. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. Oh, I see some. No whiskey, oh, though. Oops. You're doing some squirrel things? How goes the night in gaming? It's going good. We're Oh, there it is. Maybe Ducky left his whiskey up there? That's definitely where it is. We're playing Life is Strange, True Colors. Nope. Nothing. The fuck? Where is there? Where is the alcohol? Uh, Probably next to the TV. Maybe. They wouldn't have finished. Oh, maybe it's hidden in the couch. Oh, we're outside to drink alcohol. Ha! <laughs> there it is. Talk to you. Mockery Hill, straight rye whiskey, small batch, 100 proof. 
nothing is truly yours till you've searched every crevice of everything. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Put in a good word, eyes. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. Drinking on the job, that's not allowed. To Miss Alex Chen. A most tenacious detective. To Alex. Her, a Cheers. her glass is empty. What do you fucking mean? There's nothing in there. Oh, that shit's strong and nasty. <sighs> My dad was in. Miss Chen. Oh, no, I can't. My dad was in the service. Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Talk right. Them, but it's not like yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Oh, is that really Ryan? He's so cute. Look at him. Oh, that was the early 2000s. Interesting. Takes a minute to learn the ropes, though. Ballot notice. Huh? My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Backcountry skiing by permit only. Trail maps available at the ranger station. For rattlesnakes, for rattlesnake bites, see Ryan Lucan. For rattlesnake, sh rattlesnake shots, see Jed. Okay. I might have to yeah, I more. guess. The way they do think. Town of Haven Springs Council vote notice. An official council meeting will be held on May 26th to decide one measure. This measure proposes selling 20 properties of no more than 20, 20 acres to Typhon Mining for use in an open pit mine. Both the sale profit and subsequent ta property tax will be added to the overall budget of Haven Springs to be divided and spent through standard procedure. More information is available at Town Hall. Talk to a council member if you have any further questions or concerns. This is yep, just so... They're using the money to profit on the town. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. Yay! <laughs> Fishing and big game haunting. 2019 Haven Springs Quick Guide. Limited licensing applications are due April 26, 2019 by 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Notice, resident license fees have changed. Annual fishing license is $25, deer is 30, elk is 50, bear is 45, mountain lion is 45, and a bighorn sheep is 300 bucks. Youth licenses now under the age of 18. Now available. For further information, contact Ryan Lucan, Colorado State Parks and Wildlife. Huh. That looks radioactive. Hi, Steph. What's Alex, up? right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. I'm currently working, but... Who are you sitting with? So, are you, um, here with somebody? Why'd you ask or... it like that? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. Lol. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? No. It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. <laughs> Sorry, Jed. Jed was listening the whole time. He was like- He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. On. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I do. The person outside the game does. Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Oh. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. 
They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, why not? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. Oh, schnapps. No me. one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song. Guess wrong. You have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? <laughs> Yo, let's do it. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. Oh, God, I can't hear the song. So... I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. I can't hear the songs. This is this is a handicap. I'm just gonna win because I can't hear the songs. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So? What do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Think of the children. Oh, what's their daydream? Blame the monkey. Mine Mind the damn porridge. G line transfer. Give me a hand and kick your own ass. Go, Dottie, go. Heartstrings. Here with a thousand rhymes. Kiss me and shot me. Mildred Cross and Waterman Fluff Brigade. Miss Beatrix and I. Ordre Judas. Panoramica. St. Jones. Shit gets real. Should have been me yesterday. Unfuck yourself. Word hands. A lot of puns. I'm confused about what the game's about, though. Um, I guess personal questions. I did notice a lot of animals and stuff. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no, no animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? people on the cover. No? Yeah, no. She paused. So no animals, no people. But she paused. Which means she wasn't sure. This one? Because, like, there's images of people, but they're not actual people. Could be that one, because it's a skull of a monkey. Could, could be this one, or it could be this one. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. 
You've got two questions left. It's feeling like it's this one. about people so it makes me think it's this one because they're not people they're balloon animals Life is sh sure strange, bro. <laughs> Yo, do they got I believe in a thing called Love by the Darkness? That one is a bop. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a minute since I played this game. What a bumping album. <laughs> Literally. Um, I feel like it's this one, but I want to be sure. Uh, there's no questions that like make it. I'm s Why do you like it? Why do you like this song? So, I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule. Oh. Can you handle it? So, why do I like this song? The lyrics crack me up. Even the title's pretty goofy. Reminds me of fun times, I guess. Goofy title, you say? Hmm. Last question. Oh, yeah, all right, I know. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. That's your five. Ready to guess? It's this one. It's yeah. This, this Let one. me look through one last time. I'm pretty sure it's this Here's one. what I know. The song title is at least four words long. Three no animals on the cover. That's five. No people on the cover. The band name is on the cover. The title's kind of goofy. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. I'm pretty sure it's this one, though. Is it that one? No, it's not. What? Sorry. What? All right. Let her drink me. Which one was it? It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> How was it? or more four words or more it was supposed to be um four words or more that's what the question was and it had no people on the cover it was balloon animals so they're not people or balloon creatures balloon people balloon thing balloon people things they're not people they're balloon thingies It's actually delicious. <laughs> you should try one. <laughs> I 
Hey, thanks for playing. They're not people. I'm they're really glad people. we did. Me too. To me, they're not people. I should get back to they're work. Okay. That were shaped like people, so therefore they're not people and they're not animals. I blame the monkey brain. I just probably blame the monkey brain. Because Vic Nasty's also on it. That was one of the other ones I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. Because she also hesitated. I should have re-looked at it, but I was so sure that it was the balloon animal one. But I think it's blame the monkey brain. I think that was the song. I'm pretty sure it was this one. anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Glad you could fill in today. You're welcome, bro. Here was a table Still I want to hit the trails you know, later this week? Back here, I think? Yeah. Shit. Now Max scared. Let's apologize. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. That means he won't really attack me. We could just. I'm gonna say hi. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I can't apologize. To wow, him. I messed Mac up pretty good. I can't apologize to him. That sucks. Uh, oh, he wants to talk. Holy shit! Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? What do you want? Listen. What happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Mainly you. What's your point? Why are you being a dick to him? He's just trying to be nice. He's like, hey, can we just talk about this? I understand. I understand where he's coming from. But at the same time, you shouldn't have kicked the shit out of my brother. Mm, what's your point? Where are you going with this? Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you want me to lie? You're awful. You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's going to break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because you beat because the shit out of him. Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. Why don't you tell him what you've been up to? It's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. You about beat the what? shit about you. Out. 
about? Why you guys are meeting behind my back? How about we just stay out of this? Can we just okay. stay out of this? So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. What? Okay, um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. No, he didn't. Oh God, were you there too? to get back to work. Yeah, but... Sure. Alex, we'll, uh... We'll get out of your way. Yeah, you two need to talk your thing out. I can't believe you out. two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. You I two need to figure your shit out. So I'm worked not up thinking getting involved in that. Alex Chen? Uh... So, you were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Am I under arrest? Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Nobody's in trouble here. <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <laughs> is this a small town? Yes, this is a small town. Also, sorry, Kool-Aid, for making you come from YouTube over here. It's just easier for me to see uh, Twitch. <laughs> I noticed that you came from YouTube over here. <laughs> yeah, a small town can make that work, but that's mean-spirited, that joke. Yeah, I didn't like that joke. I didn't like that joke. It made me very uncomfortable. I don't know, I don't like jokes like that. That's not funny to me. Yeah, I'm having fun. I like the game so far. It feels really nice. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. A tag board used in Teller Mine around 1880. Each miner removed his check tag as he entered the mine and replaced it on the board when he had safely exited. I wanna see the tag board. Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. There's a, there's a couple tags still on there. You've never seen this game before? You've heard a bit about it. So this is um the third iteration. This is the first installment, or third, I think it's the first. This is the third installment of the series. There's two other games prior to this. Um, The first game is about a girl named Max and she comes into a place called Arcadia Bay where she's going to college for art. And she ends up getting time travel powers, time travel reversal time powers. So she can reverse time and she ends up watching her best friend get shot and it's her and Chloe going on adventures because she saves Chloe's life by getting, yeah, it depends on time travel. She can reverse time. 
Um, she doesn't get uh freaky time. She has uh, from what I've understand, I think I don't know. It's really weird her abilities. So she can feel. She's a psychic. She's a psychic for sure. She can. I think she can read people's minds. I haven't seen that since the first iteration. But it looked like she could read people's minds. She doesn't try to. But hi, she's cute. Um, she doesn't try to read people's mm -hmm. minds. But she can sense people's anger, anxiety, their emotions, their feelings. And this, their emotions make her, like, have anxiety or anger like we saw earlier. She ended up having a giant breakdown where she just was like, she felt his anger, Mac's anger, and she took it out on Mac and beat the shit out of him. The literal shit out. Did Keela fall asleep and got back up? Mm, were you asleep? Mm, I go brush my teeth. <gasps> she brushed her teethy weezies. Like everyone should. I think I was asleep so I'm not, so I'll probably go back to, you know, laying down when I can. Mm. Mm, my baby bunny. Yeah, I'm really lucky on the continue though. It's just that I got work pretty soon, so I'll probably just be watching Clover pretty soon. Okay. And then the next, uh, the next story, the second game was about a brother and his younger brother. He himself, the older brother, doesn't get the abilities, but his younger brother gets um these weird wind ability things. He gets like this wind. He can like levitate things. He gets like these weird psychic abilities as well, where he can like levitate things and manipulate things to his will, bend things to his will essentially. And the brother has to teach the brother, the old, the older brother has to teach the younger cub. It's like a lion teaching a younger cub, um, to be like to. Use his powers for good and only use them in circumstantial reasoning. And you have to teach the brother to be good, not bad. So psychics are pretty much the main character, or is it straight up magic? I think it's magic, because Max had time travel abilities. Um, I forget the brother's name in the second game. The second game is about someone... Ha like the younger brother having wind ability things where he can like literally cause hurricane causing powers he can literally cause hurricanes and um because he kills a cop he kills a cop and they have to go on the run and that game's all about them going on the run and then this is the third iteration of that game or the third installment of the series and we're following a girl named Alex, who just got out of the foster care system and is now living with her brother in Colorado, Haven Springs, Colorado. And it looks like she has powers that are more psychic based, where she can uh, sense people emotions and um, f it makes her feel anger. And it looks like she can also read people's minds. I say it's more magic as well. But from what it seems like, is there might have been like a whole s time when everyone got powers. Because she got her powers several years ago. And several years ago was around the same time Max and the younger boy also got their powers. Not gonna there you lie, have the youngest brother out of the two games sounds like he has the coolest abilities out of the three. He's a little shit though. Oh my god, he's annoying. I fucking hate him. <laughs> I fucking hate him. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yes. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Oh, they're back. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. I was glad to have you. I can see you're a hard worker. 
You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. Um, official two hour warning Typhon mining will be detonating charges in two hours. If you are in a marked danger zone, you must begin clearing out now. Call our 24 hour safety line with any questions of concerns. I'm so glad I got that kid out of the way. He would have gotten hurt. Mm -hmm. He would have gotten okay. hurt. Hector Gonzalez, lost dog. My golden retriever has run away. She's very sweet. Please let me know. Ryan if seems like a sweet guy. Cass Groves, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll keep an eye out, Riley. I hope she gets home safe. Ryan, let me know beforehand if you want if you want to look for her in the woods. Okay, I can help. Hector, okay, I will. Silver Dragon. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. First person to finish the lyric gets 10% off their Silver Dragon purchase. Now I've got a love so deep in the pit of my heart. Silver Dragon, if you're not 21 yet, this post isn't for you. Aaron James, fuck if I know. Gabe, and each day it grows more and more. Babe, we've talked about this. Boyfriends are not allowed to participate in giveaways. You know I can't resist the temptations. Silver Dragon, okay, new lyric to finish. Don't hesitate cause the world, the world seems cold. Sonny Anderson. Stay young at heart, cause you're never ever old. Earth, wind, fire. You got it. Just show me this post next time you swing by. Step. Guess I'm gonna have to step up my game. Seeking worthy competition for the jukebox game. The Chens continue to prove to, to prove no match. Hey now. Oh, shots fired. Alex Chen, it was my first game stuff. Hey, if you want to keep going, there's plenty of more bedazzled kiwi schnapps waiting for you. Jed, I had no idea people were drinking that. Should I buy more? No. <laughs> Grove Theater, which was the best Haven living death. Haven as an indie movie theater. Impressive. Night, day, land, diary. Come to our Marathon of the Dead to watch them all and decide for yourself. Tickets are 15 online and 22 at the door. Cast Grove. Stupid debate. Dawn of the Dead was obviously the best. RDL Paul. Adele Paul, I mean. Have you seen Survival of the Dead? Cast. No. And I don't think anyone else has. Aaron. I don't think Land of the Dead gets enough credit. Steph, let's face it. None of the sequels lived up to Night of the Living Dead. Hector Gonzalez. Literally, how dare you? Groves. Dear God, what have we done? I kind of agree with Steph. So, Night of the Living Dead was actually a film... We talked about this in the history class, actually. Um... Night of the Living Dead was one was considered a very extremely racist movie because they literally didn't even check the house and they killed the black guy in the house because they see movement. And a lot of people took that as an extremely racist film because I think they said something to the... I think there was something about him yelling out saying, hey, there's somebody in here or something and they still shoot him or something. I don't know. It was really... I don't remember, but... I really liked it because the main character really kept them calm even when they were being really dumb. And he, he did his best. He tried his absolute hardest to keep them all alive. Even if it didn't work out. But it was, I don't know, I, I liked the film. I think it was the best zombie film for its time. And I still think it is to this day. I still haven't seen a film that I liked better. I'm still biased. I really hated, like, All of Us Are Dead. I really hated that show on Netflix. It was pretty annoying. I hated that show. <laughs> that that show was so bad. Oh my god. Um, or is the one with the zombie vampires in Alaska or something? Oh, you're talking about, um, Last Man on Earth. That's Last Man on Earth. Last Man on Earth was the zombie vampires, where they go to sleep at night and then or sleep in the day and then he goes and burns the bodies and at night he goes around and stays in his house. Yeah, that's um, Last Man on Earth. That was a really good film, actually. I really liked that one. I was really sad about the ending, but it, gave, it made me hopeful for the future because, like, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it, but it's a classic and you definitely should see it. <laughs> 40 Days and Nights. Oh, I don't think I'm familiar with that one. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. I'll probably have to take a peek at that one. 
<laughs> the town's so small they have a social media app made for themselves, literally. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be like a Facebook group, but like they called it my block. Like MySpace. It's like a MySpace thing. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Time to talk to Gabe. The first music of the game. Literally. Oh, that's cute. Look at the little lights. That's cute. We've seen something similar that we wanted one time, remember? Mm -hmm. It was at, um... It was Christmas tree shop. Right? Yeah, Christmas tree shop, yeah. There were like little bulb lights. They were really cute. How's your doll? Silent treatment? How's your jaw? Silent treatment. Okay, we're really playing this game. Is the pain bad? He's mad. <laughs> okay. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... So back looked like death, and Gabe was hit, just hitting the jaw. Yeah, that's her powers. Like, who fought who here, what? and who won? <laughs> she I... won. <laughs> she won. Hitting cooler. Did you rehearse that move? That's Did you rehearse that move? No. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people. Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it... I guess I never realized. Yeah, she also whacked her older bro. That I'm a crazy person that I can kick your ass? That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. I mean, she is in the foster care system. On your own. So, bound to have Ooh. episodes like that, right? It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. But then I thought about how you took him apart. <laughs> Like you've done it before. It's not like that, uh, I swear. Didn't you go to juvie? Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like... prison? Yeah. yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days... Like on the run. Nice. She hit him unintentionally. I get the feeling the you've been through worse. Of his anger. Juvie and foster care are definitely different animals, but they're similar in some cases and social aspects. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? I have powers. Tell him about your powers. Tell him about your past. Let's tell him about how crazy I am. <laughs> Let's see how this will go. There's something off 
about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. That's a like terrifying Mac. power to have, yeah. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. Mac's not talking about that power. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose right. Yeah. It's more like a curse. Did Riley tell you that? But she can also read mine, so. Dude, when? No, totally. During our sleepover. Right after braiding each other's hair. Okay. Why are you throwing okay. things at me? You sure it's not just, you know. Hormones? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? Doesn't you need more beer? <laughs> doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. Yes? You're like going inside their heart. Yes. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Bro, why is why does he believe this? Are you fucking with me? It's more like a super curse. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's... That's really special. Special? Broken. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Don't be loose-lipped about it, boy. They know you're loose-lipped about everything. Like, literally everyone knew I was coming. Literally everyone. Even the mountains knew I was coming. Bro. <laughs> Gabe, you're my spirit animal. So, when were you gonna tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? You should have kept it at Charlotte's house. Well, what do you think? I love it. I'm rusty. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? Ethan? No. He was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. Who's Ethan? Wait, the kid? You don't think... He went to the mountains? Maybe. Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. Okay. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. 
Let's go. Oh my god, the mountains are gonna blow up. Oh my god. I'm gonna lay down for this one. This will be interesting. 3.5 hours into the game and now the dude says welcome home, little sis. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. No, he had, uh, he was already planning to sneak in here. This way. I don't think you should be bringing your little sister here, though. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Why don't you come here? How worried should we be? Should I be... I don't know... Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? We'll touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Oh, thank God. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. At least the blast are can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? He walked right into the front door. I think I heard something. Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Excited to announce we have a new addition to the Black Lantern staff. Happy to have you, Alex. Jed, maybe you can even teach Gabe a thing or two. Gabe, hey, she could teach me way more things than two things. Jason, she's a good sport. Glad you're finally here, Alex. Dude, that cop is like hitting on her. Oh, wait, there's something for SMM. Ducky. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcome, welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. That's very sweet. Shouldn't you be calling him Reginald? Is it M? I don't know. Kin's trying to go into the mines? I don't know, Clover. Maybe this is dwar <laughs> Darwinism at play. No! Cool. A murder barn. Murder barn. Yeah, maybe Mr. Jefferson's here. No trespassing. Private Will we property. though? This area is the private property of the Typhon Mining. Only authorized per Typhon personnel are permitted. Violators will be prosecuted. Yeah, but you can't help a little ten-year-old sneaking in. At least they're willing to propose on it. Nope. Nice. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Super nope. Protective gear? Steel-toed work boots? Sturdy gloves? Reflective gear? A positive attitude? Nope. Um, let's see. Are there windows? Might have opened the grate. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Julie McNamara is a fucking skank. You know what? You're a skank. 
zombie? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? Hell yeah. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. No, it really is. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. Mm. Looks like the glass might... I feel like he would have climbed up here, though. Yes, you definitely do these They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Yeah, at least. Thank God. I'm glad we told Gabe. The real monster here is underage drinking. Cool. I wonder if they only have one cell tower too? <laughs> no, I definitely don't think so. But they might Probably actually. not as fun to ride in as they look. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. Maybe he climbed in through the tomb? If I was a ten-year-old kid, how would I get in? I would have climbed up this way. But it looks like they're looking at the old mine entrance. Make shit black. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. To raise our drinks to Jed Lucan, who at this location on December 30th, 2008, pulled us out of hell. Oh wow. Ryan. Why can I not talk to y'all? This is weird. Why can I not talk to y'all? Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. He would have gotten in there. As of right now, I don't know how he would have gotten in. I feel like it has something to do with this, because these blocks look funky, and then the door is like, is like. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. How would I get this open? Is there anything in here I can see? You would have had to climb up. I need to find out where Ethan went. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. That's crazy. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Uh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... I know it. I know it. He based his comic. Okay. Yep, I was right. I was right. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should. No, I know where it is. It's that same fucking door. Notice right anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with Literally? the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. I know exactly how he got in. There. 
the silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. It's definitely this. This is a door behind. I literally saw it. It's definitely Wait, it. so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. It has to be this. It has to be this. 100%. It's this. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Yes. And no, because I saw it earlier when I was peeking through the back door. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Have I got some good news for you? So remember, there's a dinosaur that he climbed onto the back of. So we gotta look for a dinosaur-shaped body. Hmm. I mean, it, it seems like a slim chance, but... What? It's a long shot, but there's a couple disconnected wires in the box. Uh, a red one and a blue one. A red one. Go with red! It's always red. always red. Nope. Nothing. Dang. Back to the drawing board. Perhaps I can reach higher ground to find the, the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, Cloud Serpent. Yeah, no. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Yeah. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, then how did he get out of here? Yeah, look for like a Not sure. Thing. I'm gonna have a look. This thing. This thingy. That thing up there. So loud. Uh, the loud metal noises scraping on concrete. I fucking hate it. My ears are so sensitive, it hurts. Caution when ascending to the top level catwalk. It's this thing, but how did he get there? No, he didn't. Okay, he climbed up, I guess? Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's yeah, no, comic. It's definitely this. It's definitely this. 100% this, but the dude jumped onto it, so there's no way he would have jumped onto it. He had to climb up, which means he probably walked across this thing, which is pretty dangerous, not gonna lie, but yeah, no, it's definitely this. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt. Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes! Heads up! You figured out the door! Oh, there was a door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? I 
literally saw it and I was like, ooh, what does this do? Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Reference to Zombieland. Interesting. See, I could believe that the kid was doing this, but only if he had friends that he was showing off to. Literally. Oh. I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. No, well, there wouldn't. Someone's probably long dead. Silo was abandoned, right? So. Wait, wait, how do I get to the door? Where? Oh, must have been over here. Wait, okay, well, what does this do? Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ugh. Ew. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Definitely an omen. Compare. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. Lol. Overalls. So much stuff just left behind. Yeah, that's usually how it is. This thing has seen better days. Free hugs. Thanks for nothing, giant yellow button. That's not a yellow button, that's green. Brian seems like he knows what he's doing. Glad he's here. Well, he is a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a state trooper. Oh, that was What took fast. you so long? Alex? Wait, Alex. Axel, you never forget you. how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Uh, well, he fought, he climbed the snake belly. Hmm. Guess we just follow the thingy. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... That there. Right there. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. Close? Think so. I'm so glad we have Ryan. Ethan! 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 I see a light over there. Ryan's lamp is eternal. Probably one of those really nice ones. Those coal hill. Col Col Coleman, Coleman, I think the name is Coleman. <gasps> Ethan, Alex, I'm scared. Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait, hold on. Here. Gabe should do this. Not Gabe. Um, Ethan. Ryan should. You okay? He's the state trooper. Don't worry, happens. we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. 
What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. She's gonna you okay? Know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. So go extra slow. Piece of cake. Oh, that's Piece gonna cake. hurt my legs. Her legs are gonna rip off. She's lighter weight though. It's easier for her to do it. Women are generally much lighter. Hang on, Ethan. Carefully. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Ethan, I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! He's probably mad at me. Shit! It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. I could hurt 
the monster, but it's hunting me. I'm not just feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. I brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. Gordon would it be a brave, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... Oh, shit. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. That thing can't see us. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Well, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. They're headed back. Keep tight on the belay, game. Not over yet. We got this. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really scared. Right. And now? There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? I won't Shit. let go. I promise you, I will Do you not think let the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. That's it. Distributions off. Come on. There you go. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I would be laughing too. Fuck this. That's scary as fuck.
save progress? Oh, <laughs> it saves automatically. <laughs> Alright, so 50-50. Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans. Ethan kept her plans to herself. Wow, it's 50-50. People were actually, like, split on this decision. 35% stayed out of Mac and Riley's fight. Honestly, it makes sense. But, honestly, I didn't want to get involved in their fucking problems. They can figure it out themselves. We're new here. Mac could be dangerous. And making enemies right now, not a good idea. Um, Alex told Gabe about her powers. 69% agreed with that. Alex told Gabe about growing up in foster care. 31%. Wow, people didn't actually think that they should trust Gabe. Interesting. Alex tugged Gabe on the bridge. 95% did. 5% shook his hand on the bridge. 5% are just jerks. Um, Alex encouraged Riley to be honest in her interview. 65% said that. Alex advised Riley to show off in her interview. 33% said that. See, you could show off, but only if it's truthful. Alex put cool sunglasses on the gnome. 81% did that. Alex didn't interact with the gnome. 19% probably just skipped that. Alex enjoyed a song in the record store. 65% did. And Alex didn't stop at the listening station. 44% didn't. Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a dork. 44% said that. Ryan told... Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a badass. 60, 56%. Um, Alex rocked out with Gabe in the broom guitar. 94% did. Alex looked on as Gabe jammed in the gu broom guitar. 6%. Wow, 6% have no fun. Um, Alex found evidence of Gabe's search for her. 93% did. And 7% missed it. Um... Alex expressed optimism about Haven to Charlotte. Alex expressed pessimism to Haven about Charlotte. Alex wasn't sure how she felt about Haven. Um. Hmm. I mean, she's not sure how she feels yet about this place. Alex told Jed she's never been a server. 50% did. And 50% said that they went along with Gabe's story. Wow. People actually lied to Jeb. Wow. Alex told Gabe she loves the guitar. Alex admitted her playing is rusty. 4%. Wow. Jed was impressed with Alex's performance as a server. 86%. Jed was not impressed with Alex's performance as a server. Wait, 2%? Got that? H how? Jed figured out Alex has never been a server before. 12%. <laughs> Lamel. Steph beat Alex in the jukebox game. 39%. Steph lost to Alex in the jukebox game. 35%. Alex didn't play the jukebox game with Stephanie. Um, 26%. Mac and Riley are still together. 33%. Honestly, they need to figure this shit out. If they... Nobody should be getting involved in that. You know what? If he's jealous, she should learn. She'll figure it out. She's leaving anyways. So, they'll probably break up with natural reasons. And then she'll learn that he actually wasn't a good person. Long In the long run. But at the same time, it's like she should figure that out for herself. Not have other people tell her. Because it's, like, growing. Yeah, they have to figure it out themselves. Like, if he's slapping her and treating her like shit, yes, then you can intervene. But, you know what? This is just a bro moment. This is a bro thing. It's a small town. He literally thought the love of his life was hooking up with Gabe. And he's just like, no, this is not okay. And honestly, he was in the right for beating the shit out of Gabe. But at the same time, it's like, mm. Honestly, it's their own issues. They need to work it out. If Riley wants to be with that, that's on her. That's on her. But eventually I would- if I, like, had a, like, a friendship with Riley, I would eventually probably tell her that they fought over her, sort of. But I mean, that kind of thought process is already triggered by some underlying reason. 
They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Ducky was reunited with his favorite whiskey. Dus Ducky's whiskey is still lost. Huh. He did it though. That was a lot of interesting choices in this game. Friend stats. None of my friends have played Life is Strange. True colors. Wow. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. What? How much time are we at? I kind of want to play another chapter. Thinking about it. Um, I mean, let me do. Let me do chapter two as well. I think. There we go. Last hydration of the night. After that emotional and riveting bridge crossing, maybe a rest is well deserved. But I want to know what happens. I want to see what happens. I need to know. Oh, I'm so. Oh, I kind of really want to play this game some more. Oh. Hmm. Chat, sh do, do we go for another chapter? I don't know. I kind of want to, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Want to? I want to know what happens. Oh, it's so good. This is the hook, line, and sinker for me. Oh. Mm. But then I would have to wait for the next few days. Mm. But I do have to. That's true, that's true. You're right, Vito, you're right. Mm. Alright, we'll end it here then. And I forgot I do have plans early in the morning. Um. Alright, um. Menu. Save, there we go. Continue, we can continue now. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing Baldur's Gate with Logan. Tomorrow I'll be doing Baldur's Gate with Logan. And that'll be really, really fun. I'm really excited for that because I love Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll do chapter two a different day. We'll do chapter two a different day. I changed the title, but it's just chapter one. Let me change it back. Just chapter one. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Let's raid Saria. She's playing Helldivers, and I really love that game. I love that game so much. It's so much fun. Let's raid Saria. That game's so good. Oh, I need to play it with Saria. That's a game I definitely need to play with her. <laughs> There's no stretch out redeem, so I use posture check. That is the stretch redeem. You know, I don't get up at my chair. Fuck that. No, I'm kidding. I'll take a stretch after I get up. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure for chapter one. We'll do chapter two um, either Monday or Tuesday. Because I do want to do railroad stuff for Limba's company. And I need to finish it before the um, good old chapter four comes out on Thursday. Let me write that down on my calendar too. Limba's company... Um, chapter four. I do need to, because that's coming out on, um, Thursday. Are they still updating the game with future episodes? No, it's, they're all out. They're all out. 
all the episodes are out. That's why I was like, I kind of wanted to get my hands on this game. So, yeah, I can play them all straight out. I didn't, I don't really like waiting for the episodes, but also this game is quite pricey too. And I was just like, I don't really want to wait. I'm just going to buy all the episodes together sort of thing. But yeah, let's raid Sonica. But yeah, tomorrow will be Baldur's Gate. Sunday, hopefully I'm feeling better. I have been feeling a lot better actually. So I'm assuming ASMR on Sunday. And then, um, yeah, Monday will probably be either Limbus Company, Railroad, or Chapter 2. We'll see. Because I do really, really... Yeah, I was sick. I took a few days off because I was not feeling good. I had, like, a headache. I was really tired. I'm feeling really lethargic. And I just, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling good. And I just wanted to take a few days off. So I took a few days off from streaming. But I'm back. Hi! I'm back! Yeah, I was not feeling good, though. I was just like, I'm going to take a break for a few days. I think it took, like, a three, four-day break. And then I'm back today. And then I'll be back. And then I'm streaming today. And I'm going to try and stream on Sunday for ASMR, because everyone really loves ASMR. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not resting, though. Because <laughs> I, I stay up all night. <laughs> but my dad was sick for, like, the past week. So I ended up, I think I caught whatever he caught. So, yeah. <laughs> and, I, but I wasn't like as severe, but I definitely wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling my best. I was feeling really, really like, really, I was really hard on myself. Like I was a extra like grumpy and I, I feel like I was taking it out on stream a bit and I felt really bad about that. Plus, also with my collab mates, I feel like I was taking it a bit out on them. It's not their fault. I was also playing really competitive games during that time too, so. But yeah, I do really care about my collab mates and them doing good too. Mm. But yeah. Like, it wasn't like me screaming at them, like definitely not I would never actually do that but like I was definitely like upset at myself for not doing better and I know when I'm sick I get really hard on myself in video games like I get really fucking hard like Kila knows this I'm really really competitive and <laughs> I try and do good <laughs> and I never feel like I do good enough but stuff like that mm. and then I'll like take it out on myself and then I feel like it feeds off into things. Mmm. Yeah. I definitely set goals. He 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 he. Ha ha ha. Yeah. See, but, but those milestones don't get me cookies and booties and plushies. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm. But plushies. <laughs> but um, yeah. <sighs> plushies. <laughs> Hi, Marnie. We're gonna go raid Saria because she's playing Hell Divers. But yeah, we finished chapter one. I can't believe he died. Honestly, that was a good call on Ryan's part, though. Honestly. I don't, like, watch. That That was, I hope Gabe's alive. I really hope he's alive. I really hope. I'll be really sad if he isn't. Um, Alex's brother, she, he, her, her, her brother, we cut the line supporting him because they, they set off the explosions and we cut Gabe's rope. Yeah, we didn't see a body. We didn't see a body. I, I, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say maybe he's alive. <laughs> maybe he'll become the Hulk. <laughs> he'll become the Hulk. He's a wonder twin. Uh, 
I'm gonna be optimistic. I'm gonna assume until next chapter, if he's, I'm gonna assume he's alive. Because we obviously see Rock, so we assume the worst. But that doesn't mean that he's dead. That means he could be just buried under rocks that we're definitely gonna have to call about. <laughs> no, that would be that would be like scary. <laughs> I do wonder though, because it seems like all these characters got powers around the same time. So I'm wondering if like Gabe's gonna pull a Toby Obito. No! Oh my god, I loved Obito and Toby. Toby was hot. Not gonna lie. Toby was so cute. I love Toby. Wait, sorry, I raided. I think. Fuck. Um, well, there goes my game plan. We'll, we'll raid Asaki then. <laughs> Next down the list. <laughs> she better not be planning to go somewhere. Oh shit, she's been streaming for seven hours. Holy shit. Alright, let's raid her before she runs off on us. Alright, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. No! You get hands. But yeah, I decided on the community name. You're all squibs! Y'all squibbies and squibs! Mm-hmm. You're a squib and and Vito's a squib. Yeah, you're all squibs. Y'all squibs. Y'all, y'all squibs. Get fucked. I'm not the squib. You're the squib. <laughs> cannibalism. What do you mean cannibalism? What do you mean cannibal? Well, oh, that's the wrong emo. Ah, no, not that either. Where is it? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Where is it? Oh, it's this one. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean cannibalism? No! I'm not a squib! You're the squib! You're the squib! Yeah, you are British accents. Blimey, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, good night everybody. I'll see you all later. Good night.